NBA 2K20 tutorial number 20. Today we're going to talk about how to steal the ball with increased success across all game modes. We will study in detail when to go for steals so that you can give yourself animation advantages against the offense every time you go for the plug. So if you enjoy my tutorials and you would like to see more, make sure to click on the link above for my all 2K20 tutorials playlist where I guarantee you're going to find more videos to improve your game and most importantly, have more fun. So the trick or tap defense we've all been working on so hard recently works, especially the shovel tap technique to cancel blow buys. But today we're going to take it up a notch and we're also going to learn how to get steals out of these animations. So proper timing can help you gain steal animation advantage in 2K20 this year. All you're really going to do is know when to do it and how to trigger it. And once you do, you will get very good steal animations. And this works on Hall of Fame and it also works on online play. Shout out to uh, my man Tack, who is a two-way slasher. As you can see here, he's going to provide us with some online steel gameplay with the techniques I've showed him. And he represents the program team Farewell, who has a ridiculous 3 v 3 record of 303 wins to 35 losses. So Tack is an excellent, excellent defender. And you can see he's actually using the techniques I'll be showing you guys here today to figure out when to read it, when to go for steals, and how to pluck the ball loose, all right? So shout out to Tag for the online gameplay of the steal techniques, and uh, you guys will actually see me work with Tag a lot more throughout the course of this year, so very excited for that. But let's get to the steal. So make sure to review tutorial number 17 to learn the trick or tap defensive techniques. Those are essential in increasing steal efficiency. I also suggest review tutorial number 15 and 18 to learn the best defensive settings that complement these TO techniques for you if you're looking to you know play in 5v5 games and not just you know pro am free on free games. A lot of you have been asking me this, so uh, it's actually I want to clarify it here before we get into the steals. Is that the shuffle tap technique is uh, you rapidly tap L2 and R2 alternatively, so one after the other to shuffle your feet. That's how I do it, not together. So it's L2, R2, L2, R2, L2, R2, like that. Like alternatively, one after the other. That's how you cancel blow buys. Sorry, I didn't do a good job explaining that initially. But let's talk about steals. So, and you're gonna need, you're gonna need the shuffle taps to do the steals. That's why that's important. So, uh, before, I've told you guys, so you saw my Beverly do the shuffle taps there. Uh, the daughter circle you see by camera here. Before, I would teach you that if you see the daughter circle by the hand daughter, slow down, right? But actually, what it also means is it actually comes with a chance to steal. So as you can see here, I'm doing the wall up trigger because I'm trying to slow down from the shuffle step because I saw the circle. Uh, the great defensive settings are kicking in. You can see Kawhi is coming over to help. And because I'm in such good position on ball as Beverly, and my settings are effective with Kawhi coming over to help, I just pretty much got the steal just by default because of great positioning. So you can get steals just simply doing the trigger tap techniques I showed you guys. Your positioning is actually often what's going to get you the steals. Uh, you can see here again uh, the switch settings I've showed you guys from tutorial 15. It gives you great positioning, so it actually gives you body bump steal. So you can see Beverly is about to switch on to Jalen Brown here. And because of that excellent switch angle from the setting, that's just a clear body bump in the way steal. So that's a steal from settings, but once again, by position. So here you can see me doing some solid tracking here with a Beverly. It's very solid tracking taps, getting into smarts way. And just by default of being in such good position, once again, my body knocked the ball loose. I didn't get the steal there, but positioning got the ball loose. Now here's some great switch hedge settings that you can see Kawhi is about to come up on the switch hedge and he's just going to pick up smart right away. Beverly's going to switch on to uh, the other screener. Kawhi picks him up, great shuffle taps here. And right here during the shuffle tap is where you want to be aggressive and punch the ball out like if you see this kind of body positioning and animation click square all right stick down and get the ball so pretty much what i'm trying to tell you is you use trigger tap defense to force the handler into a blow by cancel and when you win the blow by battle like when you cancel his blow by rip him either go down on the right stick or you click the square button like when you have bumped them off the blow by as you can see what my kawaii has done here and the ball is exposed like this I have excellent body positioning here. Like I'm just as low as the offensive player. You can barely see my Kawhi. And this is the exact time you want to click square because you can see the ball is exposed while I have superior 
all the positioning from the bow by cancel. Click square, hold our stick down, you're gonna gain these you're gonna get the best steel animations when you are at an advantageous position like that. Like this is another bump off. I have once again have superior body position. He's reaching for the ball, but the ball is still exposed. So I'm gonna flick right stick down or hold square again to go for the steal. Another excellent steal animation is a Kawhi shirt. But at the same time, it's also because I have excellent positioning and reads. So you can see here, Shamit is not as good as a defender as Kawhi. And the handler is about to go for a blow by here. But if we cancel the blow by, it means there's a chance. So that's what you're gonna understand. You go for steals once you have canceled the blow by. So we use the shovel triggers to cancel the blow by here. So you can see I'm being attacked, I'm shamming, I'm hitting on the side body contact. I'm alternatively uh, clicking right trigger and left trigger one after the other to catch up, get back in front, cancel the blow by. We have superior body positioning here. And the handler is about to expose the ball because I'm looking at his feet and I can see that the circle is dotted up. This means he's about to make a dribble move. And because we've canceled the blow by, we have body positioning advantage and the starter circle has came up. What does that mean? Our stick down or hit square right away and get that steal. Like you gain animation advantage when you do the timing so well with such good body positioning. You see, that's an excellent steal animation from Shamit, who isn't as great as a defender as Kawhi, but because of the excellent timing, we got what we needed. So Walker here is once again about to go for another blow by on Shamit. You can see he's about to make side body contact. We have good position here, but I also see the dollar circle come up. So that's like a tail. Like if I have good body positioning and the dollar circle has come up, I'm clicking square or right stick down right away. Like I'm going for the steal right away when I see a circle, circle dotted up and I'm on someone's side. So I go for the steal right away there and we poke the ball loose. We didn't get the steal, but we still got the ball out of the way. That just shows good timing, good technique. And those are good habits to have. Now, good initial tracking here by Beverly. The daughter circle has came up, but the body positioning by my Beverly here is not good enough. So I didn't go for the reach. Now, however, Marcus Smart does a bad move. He spins right into me and the daughter circle comes up again. And now this time the ball is exposed. And I have good body positioning to go for this deal here versus that exposed ball. So I'm going to go right stick down immediately or square to gain a steal animation advantage. And I do just that right there. That's a perfect steal animation because of once again excellent timing and body positioning and we win that battle and get the ball. Here we begin with a good bump off and there's a dollar circle but the ball isn't exposed enough because you know Tatum's kind of hiding it. I don't want to reach across of him so I didn't go for the steal here. Tatum angles himself for another blow by on me but uh, I'm using my track triggers here and I've stopped it. Like the dollar circle has come up once again though and now we're face to face. And because we're face to say with the dollar circle, dollar circle just means I'm going for the steal. Like if I see a solid goal started up, I'm clicking square. Gets the steal, we're good to go. Now reading and reacting for steals is everything. The tracking is there, the body bump is going to be there. But you see right here, the ball is exposed. But I don't go for it because, you know, I don't want to reach across of him. Like don't go for the steal if the ball isn't exposed enough. Like it was exposed initially, but now it's completely gone. So don't do it. Just wait it out. But see, I got too aggressive here and I actually did go for the steal, as you can see. And I got myself a foul, which is not something I want. Do not reach across the body. You can see here again, Tatum is in the corner. He's going to get into triple threat versus my Kawhi. Obviously, I'm very eager for the steal because it is Kawhi after all. But he's kind of sealing me off. And this is actually a horrible steal attempt. I just got lucky poking this ball loose, but I'm reaching across the body while Tatum is protecting the ball. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, that's a bad steal attempt and a bad read. So be prepared though to miss chances. That is actually good and pick up fouls even on good steal attempt. So here I'm bumping Walker off, but he's heading into a double screen. Switch setting saved me. Excellent picked up on the hedge by Paul George. I switched to Paul George. He has exposed the ball. I have good body positioning. I must go for this deal. Now, but because this is on Hall of Fame sliders, I was not rewarded with the steal. But I'm telling you though, you have to go for it when the read is correct. Are you gonna get a steal every time? Of course not, the game's not like that. You're gonna get them more often than not. Would you still get some unfair foul calls? Sure, but this is on Hall of Fame and online is not. And if you play on other difficulties, it won't be either. So if you follow these habits, you will get steal. So you see here, Williams has exposed the ball. I have good body positioning. I'm right in front of him. So I gotta go for this deal. Like sliders or not, I'm going for it. And if it's a foul, it's a foul. Like that's a worthwhile gamble. That is a good gamble. Another bump off here. I've taken him off his uh, blow by path. His ball is completely exposed. 
I have body seal him. I'm going for the steal. I'm clicking square. If it's a foul, so be it. That's a good call. So with steals, with these kind of techniques, no regrets, don't hold back. Trust in your good steal habits, trust in your stick skills, and trust in your read. You will be rewarded more often than punished, right? Now, would you be punished sometimes? Yes, but that's a lot of that is because I play on Hall of Fame sliders, and you can see after I have showed the you know technique tag, he takes it online and he's going for that body bump steal. You see, the moment he blow, bumps off someone's blow by, he goes for that steal right away, and he gets it because there's no Hall of Fame steal sliders online, right? So get these habits down. This is when you go for steal. It's when you have canceled someone's blow by and they expose the ball, especially when their circle is dotted up. You just click square as the circle dots up if you have body positioning. Do not hesitate. Cancel the blow by, go for the steal. You will be rewarded with animation advantages more often than not if you get the timing down, right? So that's my steal tutorial for this year. Would I expand on it? Absolutely. If you guys got any questions, leave it in the comment section. A lot of this plays off from the trigger tap techniques I showed you guys in tutorial number 17, I think. And also the settings we use in 15 and 18. So because it's that time of the year, our tutorials are going to be, you know, built off of each other, especially defense. Uh, so just make sure you review if you, if you want some review. If you haven't seen it, go back to my old tutorials playlist and check those out. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit confusing because I can't go over the technique every time in every tutorial, right? Because they're kind of, they kind of like related to each other. Like my tutorials are never really independent of each other. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like it, add a like and uh, shout out to BuxyG for the sponsorship as always. And once again, I will speak to you guys again very soon.